Vishwamitra was somebody whom everybody was really afraid of. By his severe austerities, he won the name of being a Brahmarishi. This person suddenly turns up at the doorstep of Dasharatha. And Dasharatha, being the beautiful host, goes out there, receives him well, and then requests him to order him to do anything that he wants. He didn't know the order that's coming by, and he realized Vishwamitra is here to ask for Rama. He wanted Rama so that Rama will be able to go and fight Maricha and Subahu. First Dasharatha said, I am ready to come. I am ready to go there with my entire army. If you are not confident of me, mind you, my LinkedIn profile tells you that I have even gone there to save the Devas. If you are not confident of me, I will get my neighboring kings to join me in the onslaught. But I will do that for you. This boy, Rama, he is not even 16 and he has not even learnt Astra Shastras properly. What is he going to do for you? Vishwamitra goes on and argues his case as to why he wants Rama only. Still, Dasharatha was not ready to budge. Seeing this, Vashishta pitches in and tells him, you have your reputation at stake, you have your whole dynasty's reputation at stake because you've already given a word. And secondly, whatever Vishwamitra does with your child will only be for his benefit, don't worry. Therefore, Dasharatha puts up a sweet face and allows Rama to go. Rama goes along with Lakshmana. When Vishwamitra heads out with the boys, Valmiki compares them to the gate of Lord Shiva, followed by Skanda and Ganesha, the little Skanda and Ganesha, running behind him to catch up with him. So the Rishi goes way beyond Sarayu and then stops to look at the boys, look at the beauty of Rama and addresses him with a sweet note. So the Acharyas also explain that when a guy, when a thief just got a huge loot from a particular house, he's not going to sit in front of that house and count how much there is in it that he has made. He would run far away so that he knows nobody will be able to pursue him or catch him anymore. Similarly, Vishwamitra went to a distance and then rejoiced for what he had been able to pull off to get a few days with Rama.